remember, when it comes to my mother's, not all of them, just two different sets, one married, one not, okay? When it comes to these people, Marion, me, and my aunt who died last summer are all on the same page. Their treatment of my mother is just horrible. Horrible. You know? It, it, it's telling. I mean, it's got to tell you something that my aunt was about to... My aunt's going through all her own serious problems and, and she was ultimately, we didn't know it, going to die very, very soon, within the next month or so. And she had picked me and my mom up at, 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 at somewhere. Walmart or Target or something, I don't know, at the mall, wherever, wherever it was, and she had picked us up, and I was telling her about, you know, this one who was, who had been storing stuff in my mom's closet for all this time, and little did my mom know that there was some open food in there that could have easily attracted bugs, and I'm thinking she's storing stuff for her friend, and it's stuff important, and it was almost all food that they'd got from the food bank, and that just made me infuriated, but, you know my closet where I'm living now and paying the equivalent of rent to live here and it's filled with these boxes and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, well, this sucks, but my mom, you know, she's storing things for her friend, you know, who, and then I find out it's all food. Oh, my God. You come get this food now. I told my mom to tell her friend where I'm throwing it all away. It's a joke. You know, I'm not storing your fucking free food that you got for free. That's, a lot of it's expired. Believe it or not, she came and got it. <laughs> Anyway, my my aunt, who I'd gotten to, you know, who I at least saw her again and, and got to visit and got to talk to a little bit, you know, just not not about any, you know, any negative things that regarded me or whatnot, but she was crying in the car saying, you know, because she can't stand this woman and how much it hurt her, you know, that my mom still associates with this woman and whatnot, that, because this woman treated my mom so badly, you know. Mm. And these other married couple, you know, not much better, the woman particularly, or even worse in some respects, you know. I don't know, six of one, half dozen of the other. But my mom wants to have him. Remember, my mom can't say no either. She, she can't say no, and she has no excuse now. When I was living here, she had an excuse. They sure as hell were not going to come and, and even, you know, when I was living here, particularly since I wasn't living here for free, I was paying the equivalent of a small amount of rent, you know, so. It's my mother I don't have. She's my mother. I have to pay her an exorbitant amount of rent. Like I told you, when all was said and done, I was paying for electricity, paying my own internet, buying, but, you know, it's just, I was paying at least the equivalent of four to five hundred dollars a month and that's how my mom saved up because she saved up way more than seventeen hundred under a mattress she was spending it on stuff you know <laughs> that was just what was that there at the end um, it was more than seventeen hundred it's just I'd used part of it to buy that water filtration thing from natural no, no from from Alex Jones thing whatever the water that that I, I still have, haven't set it up, haven't used it. Bobby had offered to set it up for me. I'm glad he didn't because you have to have your hands super clean and, 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 and I just didn't, it just didn't feel comfortable having him do it and, and, and I would have been up because remember that's something I would be drinking out of and if he makes one mistake or whatnot, it's going to contaminate it. So that was like too close to $300 and it's, I still have it, you know. But my um, mom saved up more than that. She was saving. Remember, she was saving the 125 every single week because I was buying everything that she would have spent the 125 per week on. Um, but <coughs> I would not recommend a toddler. But it's, I'm not going to get upset with her. It's not my place to get upset with her. I did get upset when I'm overhearing, and I didn't intentionally overhear. I, I, I was tempted because, you know, when she was talking to that other friend who's all up in her business now and all involved, 
the ones, the friends I can't stand are not involved in my mother's business at all because they're the moochers and she's not going to tell them anything, you know. <laughs> she didn't tell them when she had the case money. She didn't even tell them what I was falsely led to believe that it had only been 10000 each that she and Mary, my mom and Mary got, not 50,000 each, and then they later got another three each while I was at Joe's, but, um, you know what I mean? So they don't know, but you think my mom, when I was living here, my mom wasn't crying, she doesn't know how to say no, so she'll probably wind up having them here, and, and then I'll, I'll get to hear how awful it was, because it's never been good. She's periodically had them visit, she's visited them, and it's always turned out badly. But she has no excuse now. See, and they know that. They know that I'm not living here, so... <laughs> you know? <laughs> Mom, you yeah, either have to learn to say no, or... Dig your own grave. Not my business. Not my business. When one of her friends is believing Marianne's outright lies about me, well, then it's my business. And when I'm hurt, I mean, when I'm hurting for my mother that she thinks when she doesn't even want to, because the reason I heard her over the my pretty loud Big Bang Theory was because her voice raised up, and she told me after I'm like, what was she at? And she didn't want to tell me, and then she said, well, well, she made me mad. I'm like, yeah, she was asking you what you spent your own money on. Like, it's any of her fucking business. I just, I'm in, still in shock over that. She has no right to do that. How would she like it? They would, they would never, you know. My mom had money. She spent it on life. She didn't travel to Tahiti. She bought appliances. She replaced her stove and her refrigerator and, and her dishwasher. And, and then got that, that industrial-sized washing machine. That, you know, she was sick. That I didn't think she needed, particularly, I mean, one person doesn't need an industrial size watch machine, but remember, she was sick, she was, well, lucky she didn't, she was trying to get life insurance or something, I don't know. They came the night she was sectioned, and I, I didn't even answer the door, I didn't answer the phone, I ignored them. We got messages, we're here, we're here, go fuck yourself. You would have taken severe advantage of my mother, would have no idea what you were talking about, go fuck yourself. Think I would even answer the door, answer the phone? No. I answered the next day when the plumber that I knew, that I had spoken with, I didn't know my mom called him, and I told him the truth. My mom was sectioned last night. My mom has problems. I'm moving out today, you know, so bye bye. Hmm. Wasn't in the mood. Bobby was going to be coming to get me and all my stuff. Me and Omar, and that was it. But for this friend, how dare she? That's how I felt. But getting upset with my mother doesn't solve anything. Because my mother knows. She's like, she's like, I know. I should just tell her. I can't though. You know I buy from. You know, she won't. But I won't. I, I'll have to. She won't take me to church. How will I get to church? And all this. I'm like, mom. She's not. I don't know. But she's not a real friend if she ends your friendship because you won't share your personal business with her. That's a joke. Just because you've told her about this case and this lawsuit doesn't mean she needs to know every little thing, including what you spent your money on when there was no lawsuit. I mean, that's a joke, people, and everyone in the world would agree with me. Everybody. Everybody. And I would love to see my mom. Even if she has to drink tap water because she'll learn. That's not a friend. Not that I want her to have to drink tap water or not be able to go to church, but come on. For her, to me to even hear those words come out of anybody's mouth, let alone my own mother's mouth. But Laura, if I tell her that she's, her personal questions are upsetting me, she won't be mad, she'll be mad at me, and I won't, you know, oh my God, then she's not a friend. A friend won't be mad at you. That's not a friend, Mom. She should have never, just because you asked her for a ride to the bank or to Western Union, why not? She shouldn't stand right next to you, getting in your business so she can know everything. And asking you questions. And she shouldn't ever be asking you. And the interesting thing is, apparently she asked her last night, and what my mom said is she'd actually already told her what she'd spent the money on. And now the woman's asking her again. 
How is that her business? This isn't even like a family member. This is her fucking fr so friend. You know, so calm, you know, whatever. And then I was like, well, then she's not a friend. I don't even, you know, I'm like, Mom, you have the right in the world to not be given like, like you're a kid. Would you spend your money on? Go fuck yourself. Would you spend your money on? Then I get angry because I think she's trying to find out if, if my mother spent the money on me. Even when that wouldn't be any of her business. Remember, we're not talking family here. You know? Family has more of a right to ask something like that than a fucking friend. A friend my mom's even doesn't even know what to say to that usually was just never used to do anything outside of dr driver to church, you know? It's not like they're confidants that talk in the middle of the night or something. I'm like, Mom, you don't have to share all your personal information unless you want to. And obviously you don't want to because your voice raised up and I, could, and, and, and I could hear you over the big big theory. You know, I didn't hear the rest of the call. But you were talking a long time and I, I kind of got the feeling it probably was, you know. She's nosy. That's ridiculous. You have no right to ask your friend what she spent her money on. one thing if my mother volunteers the information but for the friend to have asked it when particularly since my mom said she'd already already had actually told her you know then she's asking her again well she wants to make sure that that I don't run out of money oh god mom you're almost 70 you, you're not gonna you have a significant amount of money you have a right to enjoy yourself you know we're not talking about going you know getting ten thousand dollars worth of plastic surgery or something you bought appliances and you got your teeth done that you needed done and then you bought clothes and different things you know you had money you had been poor for a very long time you had money what you spend your money on Ugh. every time i think one of her friends I'm thinking, oh nice you know she's nice she drives to church she does this and that and then in the end you know my mom well, she won't like me. Mom, you have every right to not to say to a friend, I don't feel comfortable with that, or I don't want that, or, you know, like... And if you don't say that, it's not a friend. I found out the hard way with Shaniqua, didn't I? I usually... I was the one who would, I mean... Even if I felt so much, I overreacted to it, but I would always apologize, and she knew I had problems, and that I was, as she put it jokingly, high maintenance, whatnot, you know, and needy, and, and, but in the end, I really felt what she had said to me after everything I'd done for her was a so total insult and wrong. Um, what I said in reply, what I did was, was overreacting, I admit, yes. But I wasn't completely unjustified. You know, she had done wrong too. But the fact is, I'm like my mother in a lot of ways. You know, you're afraid to say anything or your friend's not going to like you anymore. But the bottom line is, if you're afraid to speak up and, 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 and tell your friend if they've insulted you or if they're behaving in ways that hurt you or, or whatnot, then, then it's not a real friendship. And I let her go. Oh, Joe knows how much pain it caused me. Because in the end, she was trying to get me back as a friend, but not doing it the right way. Not simply saying, I accept your apology and dropping it. Instead, expecting me to grovel, expecting me to acknowledge that her assertion that I had been a horrible friend to her was a true assertion. And I didn't feel it had been a horrible friend, you know. But I still cried for her, but I my mom has way less self-esteem than even I do. And my self-esteem is not very high, but I still, like I said, like I told my, some of my, couple of my, I told people, and my friend the other night or whatnot, you know, we were talking about shit, and people reveal shit, and then I'll reveal shit. Sometimes I usually keep quiet, but if someone reveals something, I would rather be alone the rest of my life. 
and I mean it 100% that to ever be with a guy, even remotely like Donald, even remotely like him, I'd rather be alone the rest of my life. That doesn't mean I'll give up sex. You know, I'm talking about relationships. I can have flings, as I said to one of the women who was in our little group discussion, I, you know, I can have flings. You could have a fling if you, you know, but I'm talking about a relationship. I 